are here doing the 18 miler Bighorn trail race, waiting for the buses right now. So I'm excited to get started on this adventure. I think it'll be hard, but I think we can do it. I'm mostly worried about the downhill probably. It's gonna be hard on my feet and this race is mostly downhill, so wish me luck. We're on the bus with my dad and Noah and Megan and um, yeah, how do you feel? What are your thoughts on this? The next two hours are going to take a long time to go by, I think. Yeah. But I'm ready. I'm anxious to start. Me too. It now. But yeah. it's nice that we're on. We get to yeah. relax a little bit. Yeah. Get to get a nice long ride. Noah, what are your thoughts? I don't know. You don't know what your thoughts are? No. <laughs> can you finish? I think I can finish. Okay. Good. Uh, you can finish. How long do you think it's going to take a trip? How long do I think it's going to take me? I think it will sure, take we'll me to about uh, three and a half hours. That's what I think. Get around that. I'm probably aiming for sub four. All right, we are almost to the starting line of the 18 mile race, but we still have about an hour until the actual race starts. And it's very bumpy in the bus right now. It feels like the bus is gonna fall apart. Very bumpy. <laughs> very bumpy. Um, I'm excited for the race and people say the pretzels are good and the Aid stations, and but I'm gluten free. Station. I'm gluten free. There's I can't have them. But there's a bacon aid station out here. There's a bacon oh, aid station. Yeah, they have bacon there. That would be good. Bacon station at the Dead Sweet. A beer and bacon. Beer and bacon station. Nice. I'm excited. Can't wait to start. Okay, we're getting off the bus. There's a ton of people here. Tons. Like a lot. Tons upon tons upon tons of people. There's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Tons of people here. It'll be fun. We are walking down to the start of the 18 miler trail. Which What's trail? Trip? I am wearing the uh, Cascadias. Uh, Brooke. Brooke Cascadias, I think. Brooks. Brooks, yeah. Yeah, I'm wearing Brooks too. No, I was wearing Brooks. Catamount. Dad, what are you wearing? I'm wearing Innovate. They're almost soccer boots. Look at that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's, that's a lot of traction. <laughs> what are you wearing, Megan? I have the same as Noah. The catamount. Nice. The catamount for them. The chattermount. <laughs> the chattermount. Noah's a chattermount on this trip. Yeah, he is. In the bus. Yes. We are hey, gonna what's be... what's your favorite color? <laughs> Mine's Mine's my else. shoes! <laughs> we are going to be running down this mountain, down into Dayton. We're that's the trail. Up. We're gonna go up and then down. Which, which one's the trail? It's... I don't know if you can see that. It's super wide though. There's two trails there. I think it's gonna be the darker one. It's one of those two. And I'm excited. I'm excited to get going. We've started the race now. It's, it's we're going faster than I expected. There's many, many people. Feeling good so far, but it's not even not even a quarter of a mile yet. <laughs> a tenth of a mile, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited. Noah, how do you feel so far? I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. Feeling good too. Um, we'll see you at the next aid station. We're two miles in. I decided to do updates every two miles, not every aid station. So that'll be more often. I don't I'm care. gonna take over. Right. Trips channel for a second. We decided we're not going to go hard on the uphills and run this race like the tortoise in the hair. Us being the tortoise, just try to keep an even speed going down and on the ups. We're just going to take it easy. To my update, we are uh, running through what I think is the start of the Tongue River Canyon. And it's really, really gorgeous. It's a fun run. We're almost to the next aid station, or first aid station. We just went through another aid station. Goldfish. Goldfish. We got goldfish. Um, 
we just went through the first aid station, which is 4.6 miles, is what my watch read. I got some watermelon, which was really, really good. Now we climb. It was a good aid station. Now we climb the wall. It's pretty steep. We can do it. We are crossing a footbridge. It's incredibly slippery. Um, and now we're approaching the wall. A very, very steep climb. We can do it. Let's go. Just finished the wall. We are now entering the Tongue River Canyon. Well, in a little bit, but it's pretty nice. The trip crushed the wall. It's like, you know what, Dad? I'm gonna leave you in the dust. And that's what he did. Yeah, the wall was kind of nice, actually. It was, it's like a refresh. Um, Decided to get some more downhill. Holy moly. There's a big, big drop. Wow, big, look at the big, people, how small they look. Yeah, they look like little big big ants. Super muddy right now. Look at my shoes. They're so with mud. It's pretty awesome though. Look at this. Look at this trail. Pretty cool. Uh, mile eight is very slow coming through here. Super duper slow because it's so freaking muddy. It's like running in a creek basically. It's like a, a landslide. <laughs> it's crazy. Wonder how far Noah is ahead of us. We'll see how he's doing at this time in his run. Well, good to jog? yeah, I'm good to jog. Let's jog. Mile eight, muddiest mile of all. Super, super muddy. It's, it's fun, it's all good. Oh, well, I think the flat will be good after all this down. I'm, my legs are hurting a bit, but I'm good. I can do it. Coming through the second aid station. Feeling, well, I'm on the struggle bus now. Just a little bit. 10 miles in, that's your off 10 miles, yeah. That's pretty good ish. And then, it hurts. It hurts for sure now. It hurts a lot, but. We can do it, it's fun. It's all part of the game. So, here's this aid station. It's coming right up. So I'm on mile 12 now, coming into the last aid station. I'm done with the downhill, done with the downhill. And boy, my hammies hurt a little bit. I'm good though. I bet Noah's already finished, actually. I don't know, I got five miles to go, so. He hasn't finished yet, probably. I feel pretty good. Here's the station. Uh, people were right about this. This six mile little flat. I guess it's five miles, but holy crap. It's the hardest, that's for sure. It's fun though. I've gone 14 miles and I've got, I got four to go. Oh, 
I'm on the struggle bus right now, but I can do it. I left my dad, as you can see, no dad right here. Um, and that's because he has no cartilage in his knee, basically. Well, he crashed his motorcycle when he was about my age, and now he has no, almost no cartilage in the one knee. So, he said his knee was really hurting. So, I decided to go on ahead, but kinda wish I stayed with him. It's, it's tough right now. I can do it though, I can do it. All right, there's concrete here, and I won't stop running until I hit the finish line. Wish me luck. I'm gonna try to go through. Please don't hurt yourself. Oh. I'm so old. No, it's fine. I won't stop. I can do it. Oh, there's a, there's a water fountain. I gotta just go through that. Oh, I see um, the bridge where we cross, so that's good. the race and it was hard it was it was pretty hard it was fun though i'm doing it next year i'm doing it next year that's for sure i'll do better next year what are your thoughts on the race how how did you feel i was nervous about running downhill and uh i was right to be nervous after we got down the hill my knees were done they my, felt very rusty yes my knees were hurting too so my muscles were good my joints were not bottoms of my feet. It was still, it was really fun just yeah, to see uh, it was. the 100 mile racers, the 50 mile racers, like everybody was friendly. It was, it was a really fun race. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. It's cool to see like the people who've gone double the distance you've done and just keep on passing or, you. It's cool. Or five times the distance yeah. you've gone. I think that that was a really good run and I can't wait to do it next year. Goodbye.